Hello there, hikers, and welcome. Today we are going to be playing with the powder toy. Um, I will notify you guys now, this is a very small screen that I'm playing in. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we are going to create a neutron bomb. Quite fun. So there are a couple of ways to do this. We're going to go into this little thing called solids. And we, are, we could do a couple of things. One is use titanium. It'll melt instantly. Or, if I can find out where it is, because there it is. It's in special. So we're going to create. Now you can use your mouse scroll wheel or the bracket buttons to make it smaller or larger. It do I don't think it has to be very big, but I'm going to make it this size. This is a circle. I don't care what anyone says. Um, and then we're going to go to explosives. This one right here. Oh, diamond was under the star. So we're going to go to explosives. And you could also use C5. It's technically cheating because it only blows up if it's cold. Um, but it is impossible to destroy unless you're using cold flame, which is I have no idea where. But we're going to go for TNT, and I'll show you guys why. So here's a small physics lesson. Um... Plutonium emits neutrons under pressure. So we are going to take some, this is under radioactive, I don't know if you can see it, but it's deuterium oxide, its volume changes with temperature, and it's radioactive with neutrons. So we're going to hold down control and shift, and we're going to click, and it's going to fill the whole area and lag. It's acting as a particle, so it won't fill this entire area up, because it's filling it up to an extent. But we're going to try and fill it up all the way. And as I said, you can either use C5, titanium, or diamond. It really doesn't matter. Um, gold will melt, will explode easily. Um, there are a bunch of different ways to do this, to be honest. Uh, there we go. You basically use any solid that doesn't blow up the instant it's touched with something. That's all I have to say. And there we go. Deuterium. Oh, in the top right, you'll see it shows the temperature and pressure. In here, we're going to fill that with plutonium almost to the top. Now, before anyone goes insane, we are going to fill it almost to the top with pluton plutonium because we want to be able to A, blow up the TNT, B, pressurize the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into tools, which is the light bulb. We're going to take air. You can make this as big as you like, to be honest, and then we're just going to pressurize that. And see, it's releasing neutrons. Blew up the TNT to help pressurize the air. And we have a neutron bomb. This is this is quite a nice physics simulator, um, because it's able to actually well simulate stuff. Huh, I wonder if this will work. C5 will entirely contain this neutron bomb, and apparently so will diamond. And the pressure is, the temperature, as you can say, see, is between 0 and 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I believe it's Fahrenheit. So, okay. Either it's my eyes or the diamond is melting. I cannot tell. Most likely my eyes. Um, but yeah, that's a neutron bomb. 